Hey guys, it's Dan, and in this video, I'm going to take you guys with me to Santorini, Greece, my favorite place in the world, and give you guys some tips and recommendations on great things to do and see in the island. Let's go. First thing I recommend you guys do is to rent ATV from one of the many shops uh, throughout the island. You guys probably find one outside your hostel or hotel or wherever you guys are staying. Um, I went in the high season, so it was a bit more expensive. I got mine for about 30 euros a day. Uh, if you go in the low season, you have like more bargaining power. But uh, either way, try to bargain. And uh, yeah, it takes around two and a half hours, one or two hours to uh, go from one point to the other point of the island, depending on the traffic and the make and speed of your ATV model. Um, but definitely one of my favorite things to do was to ride around the whole island, going from city to city, um, riding through the cliffs towards Uia and just uh, having the ocean breeze brush through my hair and just stopping in random areas to get like really cool pictures and views. The next thing I recommend you guys visit is the two popular cities on the island, which is Uia and Fira. They're both very similar. Fira has probably better nightlife, restaurants, cafes, etc. But Uia is just my favorite. It has some of the best views um, overlooking the island. Uh, this is where all the calderas and hotels in those Instagram pictures and videos of people walking out of their pools onto the cliffs are. Um, yeah, but just walk throughout all of the city and get lost in the mazes, alleyways. But don't walk into someone's backyard like I did and get kicked out by security guards. But other than that, you're allowed to walk throughout all of these houses and just get the best views of the city. But um, if you guys can't afford the calderas with the pool and you guys want to go swimming on the cliffs, um, you guys should visit the Loyorma public swimming pool. It's absolutely free. You guys can be courteous and buy a drink or some snacks to be there. But yeah, being in this area, you guys get some really wicked views of the island as well as getting to swim. The next thing I recommend you guys do is to take donkey steps or the main street down to Amudi Bay. Um, I call it the donkey steps because the donkeys ride up and down these steps if you're too lazy to walk up and down. But rightfully so because there's just so many steps and I got really tired walking it. But um, it's just really scenic uh, in its own just walking down and up these steps because you guys get a really nice view of the city and down below. But yeah, take these steps to get to Amudi Bay, which is the first thing I recommend you guys visit, which is um, this bay at the bottom of Uia. And um, yeah, it has like a bunch of like seafood restaurants. Apparently it has uh, the best seafood on the island. And yeah, it's just uh, a lot of people come here to look at the sunset um, and just get views from underneath of the city as well. But to the left, there's a little hike on Amudi Bay and you guys can hike um, the side of this cliff or mountain area. And you get to this little area where you get uh, people come to swim and cliff dive on this big rock, which is pretty interesting as well. Sixth thing I recommend you guys do is to visit the Red Beach. Uh, I really like this beach, it's probably one of my favorite things on the island because it's just um, really like raw and like it's just, there's a bunch of mountains and cliffs that are painted red and yeah, you hike to the beach. So it's pretty secluded and uh, the water's pretty nice, just a cool area to swim as well. And then right next to that is the White Sand Beach which is not as impressive, but um, it's just an honorable mention. It's literally right to the le right, left of um, the Red Beach. The eighth thing I recommend you guys do is to go to Parissa Beach, which is uh, probably the best beach to lounge around, um, swim, relax, and eat. This was right outside of my hotel. And um, yeah, there's just a bunch of areas where there's umbrella set up where you guys can just sit and hang out. There's also like a main street, which uh, I'm riding down my ATV. Uh, which there are a lot of shops, souvenir stores, and um, restaurants, uh, definitely a lot of restaurants. Probably uh, my favorite place to eat. You guys can get really cheap food and um, right next to the beach, uh, overlooking the water. And that leads to my next thing is to try all the food in Santorini. Um, they have the best Greek salad in Greece, and Santorini is part of Greece. Uh, the salads were just amazing. The tomatoes tasted like fruit, like cherry. Isn't it? Is tomato fruit? I think tomato is not fruit, but yeah, it tasted really good. And um, yeah, all the gyro, gyros, gyros, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but all the traditional Greek food is really good. And um, they're just very just hospitable and all the restaurants are along the beach, which is really nice to eat as, as well. The 10th thing I recommend you guys do is to visit Pyrgos, which is uh, just like, I don't even know what it is, it's just like this ruin, this castle. There's like a bunch of ruins, you walk up these steps and then there's like a museum, like a castle thing. But it's basically like splat in the middle of the island and you get like a really good panoramic view of the whole island, not just of the cliffs. And you guys can see Fira and Uya here, I think. And yeah, you just get really nice views. And I stumbled upon it um, just like riding through my ATV through the island and just following the signs. 
And finally, one of the last things I recommend you guys do is just to take in all the views of the island and the sunset. I feel like Santorini is just an island of views and the sunset here is supposed to be one of a kind. It's really picturesque. It's almost like a religious experience. Right when the sun sets, a bunch of people on Uia, Fira, or wherever you are on the island just flock and walk to the cliffs and just stop and stare at the sunset for like 30 minutes. It's just a moment of silence and it's just really beautiful. Uh, I can't even put it into words. Definitely got to do that. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you guys have some tips and recommendations for me and if I miss anything, please comment down below and let me know. And like and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more from me. Thanks!